This is the Auto House Podcast, episode 29. Happy belated 4th of July to everyone. And in honor of 4th of July, this episode will be about the summer sale that Battle Garage Racing Service has going on. The 4th of July summer sale starts 5 p.m. July 4th, 2019. and ends Sunday, July 14th, midnight. And discounts are applied at checkout. So I have a few of the parts here that are also part of the 4th of July summer sale. If you're doing audio only, I will also have this on YouTube. So definitely head over to the CM Auto House YouTube channel and you can see, it'll make more sense probably if you watch the product review. But if you're doing audio only, that's okay too. Thank you guys for the support. (laughs) Alright, so we'll start with these guys right here. This is the... This is the Koyo slash OEM Toyota Rear Axle Bearing Kit. AE86 and other rear wheel drive Toyotas. So I'll read majority of the description straight off the Battle Garage website. <clears throat> Genuine OEM Toyota product. Which, yeah, so the Koyo bearings are genuine. Like if you buy uh, the Toyota rear wheel bearings, you're essentially getting Koyo bearings in a Toyota box. And then these rear axle seals are Toyota part numbers. Fits rear wheel drive Corollas with disc brakes from 1979 to 1987. Corolla GTS AE86 AE70 TE72. Fits some 79 to 80 Toyota Supras with the 6.7 inch rear differential and 77 to 81 MA64. MA46 Celica Supras. This kit is enough to do both of your rear axles and also includes genuine Toyota OEM grease slash oil seals. And so that is the these two uh, rear axle seals. These OEM Toyota bearings manufactured by Koyo are top-notch quality, which means they'll last you many years of abuse. Racing, drifting, and spirited driving cook up excessively high temps in the small, versatile 6.7-inch solid rear axle. A perfect recipe for overheating rear wheel bearings. So yeah, if you can imagine, especially in like motorsports use, the um, the rear wheel bearings do get beat up, especially with such a small differential. Reading off the description again, old, worn out rear wheel bearings are bound to cause gnarly vibrations and deflection in rear alignment, even though it is a solid axle. If you're breaking in a freshly built differential and gears, don't skip out on these bearings. They're worth the extra few dollars to ensure the maximum lifespan of your drivetrain. So yeah, if you're doing the rear diff and you don't know when's the last time the rear wheel bearings have been changed, now's a good time because you're pulling the rear axles out anyway. Alright, so let's talk about these bearings. Um, I'm not going to open these boxes up because someone's going to buy these and there's like there's like safety tape even the tape I'll show the camera even the tape has a coil printed on them so I'm not gonna open these boxes but again it's enough to do both your rear axles so you get two retainers and then two wheel bearings and two of the axle seals 
So let's talk about rear wheel bearing failure. So one fail one indicator is noise and vibration. I'm sure everyone has their own different experience of the noises that a failing rear wheel bearing makes. But I have had the experience before where a rear wheel bearing is on its way out, but um, it doesn't really make noise or like inherently because the Corolla is so loud um, that like, you know, whatever new noise, you might not even hear it. So in one example, personally for me, the last time I had to replace my rear wheel bearings. So I know like on a long highway trip, when I would uh, let off the gas at highway speeds, you could hear like one side, I think it was my passenger side that would make like a rotational noise, like whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, when you got back on the gas, it would go away. But because it was from that one side and it was like directly like, let's say the left rear, I could um, definitely audibly hear um, the rear wheel bearing. There's another t test you can do to see uh, how your the um, how your wheel, rear wheel bearings are doing. So kind of like a bench test. So if you get the rear wheels in the air and leave the um, leave the wheels and tires on, if you grab the wheel and try to pull it in and out. There's actually supposed to be zero slop in that assembly. And if you feel any little bit of in and out slop, that's a very good indicator that your rear wheel bearings are worn. Um, another side effect that uh, I've had on a customer car, he had his rear axle seals replaced by another shop and, they, and one side started leaking again. And what we found is actually that it wasn't the rear axle seal that was the root problem. The root problem was actually the worn rear wheel bearings. And I could tell because with, again, with the rear wheels in the air, you could, pu you could um, pull that wheel in and out like a fair amount, like clunk, 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 clunk. Even when the car was on the floor, um, the owner of the car demonstrated that if you push on the tire, you could hear it like go in and out, the rear axle go in and out like clunk, 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 clunk. And he was like, yeah, is that, is that normal? So, so because the root issue was the worn rear wheel bearings, that in and out movement actually tore up the rear axle seals. Um, so again, like if your rear axle seals are leaking, and you can tell because there'll be like your oil running down the brake dust shields. Um, and you don't know when's the last time your rear wheel bearings have been changed. It's a good idea just buy the kit. I mean, the car is like 30, 40 years old now. And if your wheel, if, and, uh, if your rear wheel bearings are in question, I mean, now's, now's a good time. Buy the kit. Um, yeah, especially if you're getting your diff serviced. So like either... Uh, resealing the diff, getting a new gear set, installing an LSD, the rear axles has to come out anyway. So I mean, that's a perfect time to do the rear wheel bearings. There's a few seals on the Corolla that um, I 100% recommend that you need to get the OEM Toyota units. And the rear wheel bearing, or the rear axle seals are one of those. And I'll show you why. So I'll show the camera. Yeah, if you, maybe I'll talk first. So, so the OEM Toyota seal, it's almost like a two part seal where there's a hard metal outer ring. And then there's an inner rubber ring that the rear wheel bearing retainer rests inside. So, so the rear wheel bearing retainers actually rest inside the rear axle seals. And that's what prevents the rear diff oil from getting out onto, um, from leaking out. 
So the importance of like this metal ring, um, if you're doing this install yourself, make sure to look at the service, read the service manual because there's actually a drive in depth for these rear axle seals. And I've installed uh, aftermarket seals before where it's just like all rubber construction. And those have been like a headache. Um, they've either been like too easy to drive in so you drive them in too far or they'll cock to one side I've had like the middle parts like bend in when you try to drive them in um, which will not happen with the um, exterior metal portion of these OEM reaxle seals um, not, not to mention also like these Totally like Toyota quality, you can trust these will um, last a lot longer and do a lot better job than uh, aftermarket seal, which is uh, all rubber construction. All right, so we'll move on to the front wheel bearings. Yeah, so here is the rear axle seal. You can see like it's a metal outer. It's an OEM Toyota. And then you can see the rubber sealing portion. And then here's the back of it. All right, I have in front of me the AE86 Koyo slash OEM Toyota front wheel bearing kit. This kit retails for $97 on the Battle Garage Racing Service website. And so let's go over the product description straight off the website. Genuine OEM Toyota product for front wheels for AE86 Toyota Corolla GTS and SR5 models 84 to 87 rear wheel drive only. So that's kind of important. I had a customer ask me if SR5 and GTS front wheel bearings are different. So for the rears, we are pretty sure they are, but for the front wheel bearings, so the front spindles on a SR5 and the GTS are the same. So regardless if you have a SR5 or GTS, this kit will work for both models. Another note, if you, uh, Another note, if you have an import, so a 1983 AE86, these will work too. I mentioned that because, I mentioned that because it's surprising the amount of Japanese imports we're getting um, to stateside, especially in California these days. So I thought it would be worth mentioning also. Name brand Koyo bearings, OEM Toyota Grease Seal dust cap, cotter pin, and retaining cap. So for YouTube, I'll, uh, this is the packaging that Battle Garage will ship you the front wheel bearing kit in, but I'll uh, take all this stuff out of the pack so we can all get a closer look. But this is important too. Um, Koyo is a really reputable brand of Japanese bearing. Um, I trust Koyo for like any bearing, especially, you know, you know, I, how many manual transmissions I build when I see Koyo bearings. It definitely gives me a lot of confidence, especially with uh, something that experiences so much, so much stress like the front wheel bearings do. I like that the kit comes with um, grease, like everything you need for front wheel bearings. Um, in the past, I've just gotten the bearings themselves, and but the problem is you'll find other stuff like the dust caps like messed up and doesn't fit quite right anymore. Uh, so the cotter pins, no matter what, cotter pins are one-time use only. Sometimes you don't have the assortment of cotter pins and you're like, oh great, now I'm stuck, right? But, you know, 
that's one thing this kit solves is it's a comprehensive kit for your front wheel bearings so you're not you know shit out of luck or like running to the parts store at the last minute these OEM Toyota bearings manufactured by Koyo are top-notch quality <laughs> Battle Garage likes to use top-notch in a lot of their product dis descriptions it seems <laughs> We gotta go get them a thesaurus. <laughs> you can literally feel the difference in how smooth these rotate compared to the aftermarket units, compared to the aftermarket ones purchased at your local parts store. We expect that you will have longer wheel bearing life under high loads with coil bearings compared to cheaper options. 100% agree. For these wheel bearings i've used cheaper options they don't last when you look at the bearing themselves and turn them like you can tell like wow this is there's a definite quality difference in uh koyo japanese bearing versus like some you know another no name aftermarket bearing which may tempt you with the initial like cheap price but then you have the problems where it's like the bearings don't last um you definitely pay for the quality and uh, reassurance that these coil bearings provide and they'll last and the coil bearings will last even with like motorsports abuse today's fashion of aftermarket coilovers camber and low ride heights wears front wheel bearings out quicker than normal causing unwanted changes in alignment and nasty vibrations Again, Battle Garage talks about nasty vibrations with wheel bearings. But it's true, especially front wheel bearings, which I found in the, you know, in the short time that I've had a physical space for the auto house. Like, yeah, front wheel bearings definitely get neglected. Um, I posted a Instagram story about me bench testing front, the front wheel bearings, which we'll talk about in a second. And uh, someone local DM'd me. Someone local DM'd me, and they were like, "Majority of of us probably won't pass this test." And I thought about it, and I was like, "Yeah, front wheel bearings definitely uh, are one of those things that have a hard life on our chassis, and also get um, neglected on our chassis, unfortunately." Includes the important OEM Toyota oil seals. And just a note, it says they're not pictured on the website, but um, we'll undo this packaging. But yeah, definitely OEM Toyota uh, oil seals for the front hubs that goes in between the bearing and the brake dust shield. We don't recommend reusing your crusty old ones. And I don't either. <laughs> so if you look at the Battle Garage website, in the product description for these, the last paragraph, they actually give you some install instructions and tips. So yeah, go ahead, give the give that a give that a look. All right, so let's undo this packaging again. Audio only. This is on YouTube. So yeah, definitely this episode. 29 of the podcast is definitely worth the listen and the watch so yeah two OEM grease seals for the hubs so these go in the back of the hub and these are OEM Toyota again with like the rear wheel bearings there's a metal outer shell and then the inner rubber portion that uh, seals against the spindle itself. And I'll show the camera right now. Right. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright. Alright, you get two of these washers. These go in the front above the smaller bearing. And these are what hold the front bearing in place. You can see there's like a portion right here. There's a cutout in the spindle where these actually line up so they don't turn. All right, so we'll show the camera. 
Cool, you get two of these guys. You also get two dust caps, <coughs> which go on to the end of the hub. Um, people take these for granted because these get so beat up. Like a uh, majority of us don't have the proper tool to install these dust caps. So like the middle will get bent up or like when you pry these off, um, the outer edge will get beat up. And then when you go to reinstall like old ones, sometimes they they fit loose, they don't fit all the way. Or like you'll drive and you'll notice that like um, grease will like work its way out. So that's one part of this kit I really like is you get brand new OEM dust caps. And cool, we'll show the camera. Brand new, brand new. You also get these, which uh, the cotter pin goes through, and uh, these make sure that um, the end nut for the hubs or the wheel bearings doesn't turn. Um, this this goes through the spindle and the and the spindle nut, I guess. <laughs> All right. So you get two of these guys new. Then the two cotter pins. Again, cotter pins are one of those things that that people take for granted, right? Like these are actually the proper sized ones for the front wheel bearings. You know, you don't want to just Again, like I talked about before, I've just bought the front wheel bearings themselves before. And then since um, cotter pins are one time use only, there's been times before where I've been stuck like, uh, you know, like I don't have the right size cotter pin. So, I've, so that's one. Another advantage I really like about this kit is that it's comprehensive like this, like everything you need, all the wear items and the consumables, um, it comes with everything in the kit. All right, last item on our list. Toyota AE86 JDM turn signal lights. Because I'm a fanboy, these are some of my favorite items. Um, I run a run-free replica bumper on my car. And one of the exciting parts of running that bumper is that I could run these Koki turn signal lights again being the fanboy that I am <laughs> all right so let's read the product description so one thing I like about these battle garage will allow you to get um, the pair or you could get the right or left side individually I like that you know because there's some stuff where it's like oh man I only needed the right side I didn't really want to buy both but you know, Battle Garage has been grac gracious enough that they've allowed people to buy um, these lights individually. Genuine Toyota parts. Yep. Yeah, genuine Toyota parts. You see the Toyota boxes right here. Fits Koki late model JDM front bumper. So included with that is uh, if you had an aftermarket front bumper like I do, that will... Um, that has the provision to run these lights. Some wiring required. Please search online for info. <clears throat> so, there's a lot of write-ups on how to install these in a US car. The short answer is I cut the pigtail off my original turn signals and spliced them into these guys. So when I turn my headlights, um, that clear portion is on all the time. And then the turn signals, the amber portion, works regular like a turn signal. Uh, one of Grand Mighty's beam swap videos, we do this... Um, 
we show how to wire up the the lights but there's another more complicated way to do it with like relays and stuff so however you want to wire up these lights to a US car um, just a little bit of Google searching will get you there alright so let's take one of these guys out of the boxes <coughs> pretty cool I totally forgot that these come with brand new hardware to mount these lights these two 10 millimeter nuts so there's two 10 millimeter nuts um, to secure these lights I'll show the camera <clears throat> um, these two studs for those two nuts there's two studs on the back of these lights. Um, these come with light bulbs already in them. And again, what I was talking about, this pigtail will be different on a US car. So um, the typical install is like you cut this pigtail and um, splice them to the, splice the US pigtail onto here so you can run it. Um, it's this it'll be the same as like the body side harness to your car all right Ooh. yeah there's Toyota um, yeah these are definitely OEM Toyota it's cool it says Toyota and then like the part number for the lights Japan Koito is the company that manufactures these for Toyota and then I like it says L, so like it's obvious there's a left and a right side light. So we'll show the camera. All right. Check it out. Brand new. Brand new parts. Imagine who wrote that in Japan? <laughs> who wrote that with a chalk pencil? <laughs> All right. Cool. Left side. Yeah, there's like styrofoam or uh, bubble wrap around this stuff. So when uh, Battle Garage ship these out, um, these will be secure. So rest assured. So that was the last item I had on our, for this week's product review. So the owner of Battle Garage, um, usually before the weekend, I'll ask him like, hey Grant, um, do you have something you want me to do product review on so I had those those were the three he gave me for this week but really special we have something extra for this week so so Battle Garage uh, wanted to do a giveaway kind of um, how do you say it like to support you know just like to show like love and like support for the community and then you know also like this would be a cool thing to do in tandem with the the 4th of July sale too so um, so yeah let's uh, take this thing out of the bubble wrap and see what it is Cool, so we have a Zackley clear cam cover in a limited edition color. So this thing's red. It's a clear red. It's got a ZackleyCorp.com uh, logo printed on it. And this is for a 4AGE engine. It, um, this, uh, 
I have a Zach Lee cover on my personal car. Um, I really like them. I think they're great. I think it's so cool to... Uh, well, that's probably the ricer in me, but it's so cool to actually see the cam gears, um, especially if you got like some aftermarket cam gears or like some fancy uh, aftermarket timing belt. Um, a clear timing cover will really show it off. It's cool too, this thing's a limited edition uh, clear red. I like the Zach Lee covers because in each corner for the bolt hole, there's a brass insert. So like when you put in the bolts, you're not like crushing the plastic. Um, and so that'll help um, this cam cover last for a long time. Even um, when you have to, even when it's like constantly serviced where you got it, where, you know, in case you're taking this thing on and off all the time. And uh, yeah, I've had my exactly clear cover for a long time now. I've definitely had that thing. <laughs> on and off a fair amount too and it's held up great um, i've gotten compliments on uh my hks cam gears all the time uh, again battle garage offers the exactly covers in clear on the website but this particular cover is a giveaway so yeah exactly cover <laughs> see the logo and then the brass inserts on all four so you don't beat this guy up. Cool. Hopefully don't leave too many fingerprints on it. <laughs> so in tandem with Battle Garage, I also wanted to do a giveaway. <clears throat> so, so whoever wins this cam cover, you will also get the auto house sticker set so that includes the two die cut main logos the car make auto house just the die cut a logo for auto house the three character cars the levin trino and frs and then also one auto house podcast sticker so one two three four five six stickers from the auto house exactly cam cover but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. All right, and super special. I made these custom front wheel bearing race install kits. So if you buy the front wheel bearing kit for the July summer sale, um, these would be great to have too. Again, um, this is all a giveaway, so I, so we're giving all this stuff away to one lucky winner. So I like to keep the old wheel bearing races because they make a good press tool. Um, this way, like when you put when you you drive out the old wheel bearing race with just a punch from the backside, but usually getting the new ones in is tough, right? Because majority of us don't have the special tool just for the wheel bearing races so what you do you set the new race in there put this guy on top and then hammer down until flush and then that's it um, no no headache with like a punch like a hammer and a punch in a circle and then like the punch can slip and like you'll groove the new race and and then you're screwed <laughs> none of that nonsense with the special custom uh auto house wheel bearing race install tools all right cool we'll check these out cool so it's just a bolt and a plate and i tig welded this guy so you just put this down and then pop 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 so the bigger one's the rear bearing bearing race and then the small one is for the front bearing So, what do I have to do to win all this cool stuff, do you ask? Let me look at my notes. <laughs> all right. So, again, the giveaway is for the limited clear red Zackley cam cover. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six auto house. 
So the set of six Auto House stickers, and then two custom Auto House front wheel bearing race install tools. Here's what you have to do. All right. So for Instagram and Facebook, I want you guys to follow all three companies, Battle Garage Racing Service, CM Auto House, and Annex Suspension Group. So you need to follow these three companies on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, I'll have an Instagram post for when this podcast releases on Monday. So leave a comment on Monday's Instagram post for the Auto House regarding this podcast. And from the people who leave a comment, I will choose a random, I'll select a random winner from the comments section who will win all this stuff. The winner will be chosen on July 14th, and that is the, that is also the end of the Battle Garage 4th of July summer sale. July 14th midnight. July 14th midnight. So on July 14th, I will choose a random winner. Again, you have to leave a comment on the Instagram post for when this podcast releases. And from the comments, I'll choose a random winner and you get to win all this stuff right here. So yeah, head over to the Battle Garage website for the 4th of July summer sale. The discounts will be applied at checkout. And yeah, again, uh, drop a comment on the Instagram um, so you can win all this stuff. Come on, cut, cut, cut. Alright, cool. Thanks, guys.